marijuana. Marijuana history taking a new turn in the United States today. Three, two, one. Countdown's over. Impromptu pot party near the Seattle landmark, the Space Needle. Washington State becomes the first in the nation to legalize marijuana for recreational use. Washington voters approved it last month, but you can't go all Cheech and Chong here. I've been smoking since I was born, man. I could smoke anything, man. Here's the deal. There are several rules here. You have to be 21 or over. You can have up to an ounce in your possession, no more than an ounce. Despite Seattle's overnight smoke fest there at the Space Needle, you are not supposed to light up in public. And here's the biggie. You still have to go underground to get this. Growing pot and selling pot remain illegal. But there's a new group of businessmen waiting in the wings here to cash in. They're so-called ganjapreneurs. I have one here with me today. He is Trip Kieber, owns Dixie Elixirs and Edibles in Colorado, where uh, medical marijuana is legal. Recreational use uh, is about to be legal next month. So, uh, Trip, welcome to you. And um, let, let me ask you, how does the word ganjapreneur sit with you? <laughs> well, it doesn't. I don't think of myself as a uh, ganjapreneur. I think of myself as a... Uh, medical cannabis entrepreneur that's been busy at this for the last three years. Uh, and today represents a milestone, not only for my business, but certainly for the industry uh, with the end of prohibition, the legalization of marijuana in the state of uh, Washington and not too distant from now uh, here in the state of Colorado. What about, so your company, Dixie Elixirs, what, what do you sell? So Dixie Elixirs and Edibles is a medical marijuana infused products manufacturer licensed and regulated here in the state of Colorado by the Department of Revenue through the Marijuana Enforcement uh, Division. And we are an infused products manufacturer. Three years ago, we started off with one product, which was in effect a pot soda. Today, three years later, we have 10 delivery systems or product lines representing over 70 unique products, giving patients here in the state of uh, Colorado and potentially uh, consumers uh, uh, the option to uh, embrace marijuana than other than the raw plant material smoking it. So uh, a soda, I was on your website, I saw uh, chocolate, I saw ice cream. Um, you know, it, Trip, I looked at, to try to see it, just in your background, um, and you, you're a real estate and technology money guy. So are, are you smoking <laughs> or, or are you eating this stuff or is it merely about the other kind of green for you? You know, I'm fortunate because I'm a relatively healthy 44-year-old male. <laughs> and uh, although at one time I did have my red card, uh, which allowed me to access this important medicine, uh, I don't actually typically use it. Um, uh, the products that we develop are clearly innovative, giving patients here in the state of Colorado a choice, whether it be a sparkling beverage such as a 12-ounce, uh, um, 40-milligram uh, sparkling red pomegranate or a pharmaceutical-grade cannabis capsule uh, gives patients the opportunity who can't necessarily embrace uh, the plant in the smoking format. Somebody who has lung cancer obviously shouldn't subscribe to smoking. And so we're very, very excited. And I certainly haven't done this on, on my own. I've got an incredibly strong and uh, powerful team of scientists. And PhDs, I'm sure you're not the only, you know, it's not just Dixie Elixir and Edibles here. There are many businesses lining up, hoping to cash in here. I mean, big picture, when we look ahead, and again, we're just talking Washington State today, legalizing recreational use. We're talking about the state you're in, Colorado, uh, you know, first of the year. Big picture, looking ahead, where do you see that the marijuana industry going? How big might it get? Well, it's absolutely fascinating, Brooke. I mean, uh, t uh, about a year and a half ago, they pegged the industry at just under $2 billion, growing to about $9 billion over the next four years, what I would describe as hockey stick growth. But looking at the state of Colorado, which is going to close out with just under $300 million in revenues, overnight with the legalization of marijuana, you're looking at probably a three to four increase. Uh, uh, you go from 100,000 patients to an excess of a million consumers, and that market's going to go from $300 million to an excess of a billion dollars uh, overnight. And that's certainly what the state of Washington is experiencing. They put a peg at just over $46 billion domestically if the federal government would allow uh, marijuana. You put a syntax let on me, that, and that's approximately let me $20 billion in, dollars in trip, revenues. Because you mentioned the federal government, and here's the big but to this whole entire story. Mm -hmm. um, it's illegal under the federal government here. Let me just read part of what the U.S. Attorney's Office statement 
reminding everyone today, quote, regardless of any changes in state law, growing, selling, or possessing any amount of marijuana remains illegal under federal law. So, so what if, and we still don't know yet, this is an evolving story, we don't know yet, you know, but, but what if the feds go from, you know, kind of wagging their fingers over this to a full-blown crackdown? You're talking about investing millions in a business. Would you be pre prepared for that? Well, it's, it's, it's a fi fascinating dynamic. You're absolutely right. Today, uh, there's 18 states, including the District of Columbia, that offer some form of medical marijuana or, in Washington, Colorado's uh, uh, case, uh, legalization regulated like alcohol. Uh, there's a, been an incredible groundswell today in the state of New Jersey. It opens its first medical marijuana center. But so the feds can come waiting. to you, Trip Kieber, and say, shut it down. This is illegal. Would you be ready for that? They absolutely do. They absolutely well certainly no one's prepared to have the federal government knock on the door but we operate in 100 percent compliance uh with the state as in effect our partner ensuring that we're 100 percent compliant and follow all the rules and regulations and there's thousands of businesses here in the state of colorado that do the very same trip keeper thanks for joining me what a what a story thank you very much thank you